A graceful performance under pressure. That's the goal of upset prevention and recovery training at Mesa-based Aviation Performance Solutions. Aviation Week flew with APS and an extra 300L in April to sample a program that airlines are becoming increasingly interested in after nearly a decade hiatus, driven largely by new global mandates for enhanced envelope pilot training. APS trains 1,000 students per year for UPRT and other programs, mostly in Mesa, but also at smaller locations in Dallas and Amsterdam. The professional pilot UPRT includes ground school, in-aircraft flights, and full motion simulator sessions. APS has developed a standard technique to help pilots perform gracefully and safely when the unexpected occurs. This is how we get our client to do our all-attitude upset recovery strategy, push, power, rudder, roll, climb, or stabilize, depending on what the client's intentions are. Climb could be level, could be descent. But, uh, and remember, it's just a strategy. It's going to be applied a little bit differently depending on whether we're in a stall or a nose high upset or a nose low upset. But we do recommend or advocate a say-do action. Say the step, then do it. Get into the stall, all right? Are you ready? Yes. Okay, I'm going to show you a power on stall. We'll go about half throttle so the nose isn't up too much. We've just done our clearing turn. Nose is coming up. All right, we're going to stall in a second. Look at the airspeed decay and look at our attitude. Increasing rudder here, and here's a stall. Push, power, rudder, roll, climb. I'm going to show you uh, a nose low overbank upset. Picture yourself in a citation tent. You get distracted. You're looking at something on the center console. You end up overbanked. You look outside. The nose is in the brown. Airspeed increasing. You can imagine a citation tent is going to be going fast in a hurry. You ready? Yep. Okay. So here we are. I'll, I'll even start nose high here. And let's say I was distracted. I'm looking inside, although I'm not really, but I'm simulating I am. I look out, holy cow, I see this, I'm gonna recover. Push, power, rudder, roll. Look for that horizon, look up, there it is, climb. Up to the limit load factor of the aircraft. John, let's go into a 30 degree bank left turn. Right there is perfect. Now I want you to intentionally do the wrong thing. This should feel unnatural to you. Feed in left rudder. Hold the nose up, hold 30 degrees of bank with a, a very subtle right aileron, just like that, perfect. Hold it, you know what's gonna happen here. Wait for it, a little more rudder, back pressure, rudder, and recover. Push, power, roll, yeah. Cover. Yeah, get that wings level. Now we're climb smoothly, smoothly, to the performance limit of the airplane, two and a half Gs rather, simulated transport category. Bring the power up the rest of the way. Now you can feed in some rudder for P-factor and slipstream in our single engine airplane. That was all in all excellent, especially considering you didn't have all the academics and you didn't have the lead in.